Good morning. Good morning. Praise God. Today is very, very important. In fact, the most important thing in the Bible. One word, and there is resurrection. Resurrection of Jesus is referred to more than a thousand times. Almost every book, every page in the Bible talks about point somewhere towards the main reason for the scriptures is the resurrection of Jesus. Because no one has resurrected before. And this is God's aim, purpose, is the resurrection. Today is we celebrate especially the resurrection or some prefer to call it Easter. So is it res resurrection or is it Easter? The word Easter is found only once in the Bible. In Acts 12, the Apostle James is killed with the sword by Herod. And when he saw that he pleased the Jews, he arrested Peter also to kill him. But before he would kill Peter, he said, Herod said, this is Easter. That's the only time it is mentioned in the Bible, Easter. And after the celebration is over, he, he calls for Peter to, to be brought out so that he could kill Peter. And that night, Peter was taken, was taken first to the prison and he was bound by chains to, to soldiers to the hands of soldiers were bound by chain and he was locked in the prison. Simon Peter went to sleep. Can you think about a man who is willing to sleep when he knows he will lose his head tomorrow? He had such peace which only God can give. And uh, as he slept, an angel of the Lord came and set him free. While keepers were sleeping, he released Peter from the chains. Chains fell off. He put, told Peter, put on the clothes and put it on. And he opened the prison, the prison doors. And he came out. He, he, thought he, was, he thought he was dreaming. And the angel patted him and told him, Peter, wake up. You're not dreaming. It's real. Then he did us. It was a real thing. And he went away, stayed to Mary's house. And the people were all gathered together with the other apostles 
and they were praying. They were praying non-stop. Peter went and knocked the door. And a servant girl came and she saw Peter at the door, knocking the door. And she said, Peter is here. He is alive. And the people said, people told her, it is he is ghost. He is ghost. He is killed already. Then Peter knocked in here. And when they opened the door, they showed Peter himself alive. And all the prisoners were still in prison, but Peter was set free. And the keepers of the prison jail they woke up the next morning, had a call from Peter, and they found Peter missing. And they were going to kill him. He said he would kill all the killers, the keepers of the prison. Herod then came out and he began to give a big speech. And when he gave his speech, declaring who he is, God struck him. The angel of the Lord struck him from heaven. And he was eaten by worms. Herod was eaten by worms. That is when, before the attempt to kill Peter and after King James, the apostle, happened, they celebrated Easter. Easter is a Roman holiday. In addition to Easter, There was Diana, the goddess Diana. It is believed that she fell from Jupiter. And later we find when this Paul preached against it, he was arrested too. But the idea here is Easter, Easter was celebrated by them. The word Easter is found only once in the Bible. But it's sad to see today, Christian churches all over the world are celebrating Easter. This is Resurrection Day. Amen. The day early morning before the sun would arise. They said he claimed to rise from the dead. So put additional guards at the grave and seal the grave. Make her nobody goes in and nobody can come out. They sealed his grave. And early in the morning, Sunday, was resurrection day. The angels came and they rolled the stone back. A stone that could not be moved. The angel Roll it back while the guard was sleeping. <laughs> and the guards, they were all sleeping. God put them to sleep. And 
early morning before the sun would rise came Mary and the other women with her to the tomb. They were hoping they could finish the work which they couldn't finish when Jesus was buried because it was a big rush from the cross to the tomb. And so they came and they saw the stone rolled back. And they looked, then they saw two angels, one sitting in the front of Jesus, the other one at his feet. But the body of Jesus was gone. He's wrapping the cloth that they wrapped his head, and he wrapped his body, was folded and kept by the side. It looked like it was never used. And one of the women cried. She said, Where have you taken the Lord's body? She cried. And then the Lord appeared to her and pat her. said, he is alive. She looked up. She thought it was the gander. She looked up to say, where have we taken his body? And she saw Jesus. And Jesus said, I am resurrected. He is resurrected. And then came the disciples, the other disciples, all to the tomb. And John came first, and then followed by Peter. And they, they were looking, where is this body gone? He's gone. Where is he? He's, he's not alive. He's come alive. Then the many said to her, to them, he is resurrected. He is gone. He will meet us in a place. He told them that. He will meet them in a certain place. And they went and they waited there. They waited for Jesus. And through the doors, he came. The door was closed. He came walking. And he said, it is I. He stretched forth his hands and he showed them his leg. He said, come, touch me and see. I am alive. I was dead and alive. My body is alive. This body of Jesus could translate, could appear. And uh, after that, for 40 days, he appeared to all the disciples, many of them all over Jerusalem, all, all around the towns. He appeared to them. 500 of them saw the resurrected Lord. After 40 days, he was alive. Then he said, wait in Jerusalem. Wait for the day of Pentecost. And he will visit us to the Holy Spirit. Where he will pour out the Holy Spirit upon all of us. All. The resurrection was celebrated by the early church, full swing. They were not celebrating. It was after that, after the resurrection, after the four days, 
And her was angry. He called her for a change. He gave the angel. He told the angel. He, he failed. He prayed Jesus to death. Jesus arose. And so he tried to kill the apostles as well. But he was in, in by worms. So it is. I want to emphasize this fact. It was resurrection, not Easter. And he reminded them to take the communion as often as you can. Amen. In remembrance of me. Yes. I'm alive. Yeah. And because I live, you will live also. Amen. No other person in human history has resurrected from the grave. No person ever promised I'm coming back again. When death will be wiped away once and for all and the new heavens, heavens and the new earth come and he will reign. He will reign with the rod, Jesus, the Son of God. God promised of the coming Savior to Adam and Eve. It took 4,000 years for it to be fulfilled. Now, 2,000 years have passed and Jesus said he'll come back six 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 we are there now about there he come back and there will be a resurrection. There was a resurrection and Jesus, when Jesus rose from the dead, the others who died before, who died in the Lord, they all were resurrected also. And they appeared to all the people in Jerusalem and many of them saw their ancestors resurrected before they went up. It's very interesting to study what is it, that resurrection of the dead, the righteous dead. All these things happen during the resurrection, not during Easter. You know, so by the way, I can go on for more and more. When, when Shah Chalming, the first emperor, Roman emperor, who claimed to be a Christian, he was anti-Jewish. He drove the Jews away from Rome. The Jews are still be driven away from everywhere it during our time. That's what is going on in Israel now. The war that began then still is now. Anyway, it's a long story, beautiful story. Unbelievable miracle 
after miracle after miracle so this is resurrection day shall we all stand as we party of the bread together he took the bread and he said eat this in remembrance of me my body is broken for you the bread that Jesus used was like the parties when he put it in the oven and took it out it has got stuck on it all over it is even as he ate the bread which speaks about the flesh of Jesus it has got the stripes that he got on his back from the whip eat eat all of it and he ate after he had taken the bread he took the juice which is the juice of the grapes the grapes were pressed in order to get the juice out of the grape you have to crush the grape and in those days it was a very common drink the juice of the grape was very common so they had big containers in which men stood in it with a lot of grapes beneath and stood on it and crushed it with their feet and out would flow out the juice and that is what Jesus drank crushed by a human, human body crushed by him crushed by Herod crushed by Pilate crushed by the chief priest he was crushed under the feet of men and out came his blood this wise red let it partake together amen God bless you